MGB high temp, MGB chip, MGB over limit. That's the oil. Main gearbox, low pressure. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh no. Oh no. Hello, I'm Tactical Pascal. Welcome to the channel. I hope this finds you all safe and well. This is the H145 by Hack Performance Group, and in this Microsoft Flight Simulator video, uh, we're going to go and put out some fires because. Why not, eh? So let's have a little look if I can stop shouting right so much into my microphone. Uh, what we're going to do is load up a mission here from the little iPad. So I'm going to click mission. Or missions, rather. And then we'll have bouquet welfare, Sierra wildfire. Oh, there's lots of them. Library. Landfill fire. Why not? Let's go for a landfill fire. It says begin firefight. Now what we're going to do is fly off and follow that uh, purple line. Now, full disclosure, uh, I'm not perfect in the H145. I know how to fly it, but I don't know how to fly it well. So we'll get cracking. Uh, we've got our Bambi bucket on board and we'll go and uh, fill it up with some water. I'll turn up my noise so I can actually hear my engine screaming at me. And then we'll fly off right, I'm going to turn out over the town and head up because that was quite a large hill off to my right. So again, if you do see any mistakes uh, in the flying, uh, it's because I don't know this helicopter too well. I know how to start it. Oh, let me center that on my actual helicopter and then I might actually go the right direction. Um, I don't fly it that well, I haven't flown it too often. I know how to start it up and mooch about and do little city tours. Um, oh. Well, this is very uh, foggy. I suspect that's from real wildfires that are happening in California right now. Um, good luck if you are in California. There are wildfires. I hope you're all right. And well done to all the people who do this for real. I mean, I'm doing this in the sim, so I'm nice and safe sitting in my front room. But there are people who are doing this for real right now. So, uh, yeah, fair play to you, brave people. So, we're going to fly off. You'll hear lots of dings and noises from the aircraft. I don't know how fast I can fly with the Bambi bucket underneath, not gonna lie. Uh, so we'll stay about this speed and hope it doesn't fall off. Now we've got our little path, path here. We're flying over Panorama City. There is. Nice panning shot of Panorama City. And we'll fly it towards the wildfires and we'll try and put one out. Now, how far away is it? Oh, it's up in the hills, that's fairly realistic. Acknowledge frequency change. Actually, let's have a look. What squawk is a firefighter? I don't know what squawk a firefighter is on. Um, so I'm going to go 0033. Put it on. There we go, we're squawking. Now, I'm not going to change the SoCal approach because they'll say flight falling and it'll make me change the squawk. I'm just going to fly out um, towards the wildfire. It looks very, uh, shall we say, realistic with all the haze from wildfires. So, flying out towards the hills, I can just th see there, I think, on the horizon there, um, some smoke. Now, what I do need to do is find somewhere where I can fill up my Bambi bucket. So let's steady right there and then look down at a little map, zoom out. Right, there's a place, oh, there's a lake just to the left there we can pick up some water in the Bambi. So we'll fly on out. There she blows. And what I will do is I'll adjust the camera so that when we do drop, we'll be able to see um, the water coming out. Okay, so there's, yeah, there's fires up now. So we're going to, yeah, we'll take this lake off to our left slightly. Now, we want to go down and dip the bucket in the water first, obviously, to fill it up. And then we're going to, we're going to drop it on the fire, which I've already lost sight of. There it is. Right, cool. So I just need to find the, uh, the lake now. I suspect it's in that little valley. Let's have a look. Yeah, so beyond the road. In the valley, just down from the actual uh, wildfire itself. 
MGB over limit. Is that the bucket? That's what that warning is. Oh, we've still got it, so I haven't broken it yet. So I will slow down just a little bit. Right, so we're looking for a little lake, so it's going to be beyond these hills. In fact, there was a lake over there. I don't got a pool I can dip in. Oh, that's a, that's a nice big lake for us to get in. And it's not too far away from the far, so we're going to drop in there. Fill her up and move on. Now, this is a recent update to the uh, H145 by High Performance Grip. We'll, of course, include a link in the description below. Um, it's an excellent addition to Flight Sim. Really, really good. Right, I'm going to go further. I mean, I know they're having a drought and stuff, and I'm stealing their water, but it's to put the fire out, so it's a good thing. Right, let's dip into the dam. was a bit, <laughs> a bit of a fast descent. Now I want to go down low enough to dip the bucket in. But I don't want to dip myself in there. There's a hundred feet. Radar alt is at 48, 40, 35, 30, 29, 25, 22. That should be enough for the bucket. Yeah, our bucket's in there. So as we come up, I don't want to over torque the engine so I'm going to come up slowly and go forward. We'll see our bucket now has water in it. So I'm going to use this sort of gap between the trees to get a bit of speed and then continue the climb because I don't want to over torque this engine. Or now a little bit heavier. And we're going to come up and to the right and take out that fire. Then we'll come back down here, fill her up, do it again, do it again, do it again. Right, up we come. Fire is off to my right. There we go. So I'm just going to fly straight towards it. The bucket's high enough above those trees, that's fine. Right, this is actually quite a decent angle to approach from, I think, because uh, I'm going to be able to just fly straight over the top. If I come in right to left, I'll have to worry about that mountain. But this way I should be okay. And there is a bigger body of water further off to the uh, south there. So what I'm going to do is fly towards. And then I'm going to essentially pickle the water. Pickle! I'm going to drop the water on the fire. So come right a little bit. Obviously, I give myself enough height so I'm not going to go over the, uh, and hit into the ridge. Coming across, and we're going to go there. That's a decent run. That was decent, and you get a little score, so 69 balls. We go back to the water. And fill her up and go again. And I'm going to try and do this a bit faster so I can get back up here to the fire. It helps if, of course, you remember where the water was because I was about to dive down there into the uh, waterway or the highway. Right over this ridge, kick the rudder. So the next ridge. See? I told you. <laughs> not used to flying it. Looks very pretty though. Right now, I'm not gonna lie, it does look very pretty. Right, there must be a better way for me to come in from up there to dive down and get more water. Right. See how she goes now. I'm just trying to find different ways I can come in. Get the nose up, slowing her down. Fine on the left, fine on the right, fine down below. I'm going to start turning in now. I want that radar altitude down to about 30 feet. Pick up my water. Obviously, I don't want to dip down too low. It's a 
the rest that are sent there. Right, that should be it full. Up we go. It should be clear of the water, so we're coming ahead. There we go. We've got full, full water again. We'll go off up and take out the fire. Right, let's cut left. It's very fun. Um, as a as a mission system for flight sim, they've got the firefighting stuff, and they've also got the um the sort of medevac things. So the the normal rescue helicopter where you go and you like attend car crashes or people being bitten by sharks and stuff like you fly out and uh and drop your swimmer in or drop your uh, uh lower your winch and stuff down it's pretty cool um i've not played much of it like i said this, this is my first proper firefighter uh, attempt uh that's handy uh switch offline <laughs> as you lose control as your internet drops that's handy thanks for that sim I'm going to come in and get ready to drop again. Yeah, I'm sure someone's screaming at the fact that those messages are there. But like I said, this is my first time properly flying this in anger, so to speak. And... Drop our water. Look at that time. 15! Well, that was terrible. Fifteen out of goodness knows what, but that was rubbish. I'm not gonna lie, that was... Maybe I can come in that way. And yeah, maybe I will come in from the, uh... From the north, heading south. And do it that way, right. If I cut down, follow the road, and then cut in... be easier to get back to the water, maybe? Run flying over those ridges and diving down. Yeah, if it's over those two, I'm going to cut across now. Yeah, 15's terrible! 84 with two drops. Rubbish. Fireman Sam, I ain't. In the flight sim, I mean, you're, you're flying over the house. Yes, they are a little bit misshapen, depending on when it's loaded in, but that can be a lot of the fact now to do that my data has just gone offline. Because my internet drops. Because why wouldn't it, you know? Why would you want stable internet in these days? Right, there's the reservoir, so I'm going to cut and fill it from the lake. Because that will give me a bit more control to slow down. I don't have to slam it down into the air. Uh, Into the lake there. At the reservoir, rather. Yeah, because those buildings are lumpy because it's no longer loading in the data, but we can still firefight. Right, bring the nose up to bring the speed down as we come down on the collective. Watch that speed as we're going down as well. Watching the radar altitude. Put her down there, dip in. That should be us full. Watching the torque on the left hand side of the engine. Making sure we don't over torque and crash into the lake itself. Bambi is full. So I'm going to go forward a little bit, get a bit more speed, and then come up. Gently back on the stick now. Trade speed for height. Up we go. I'll actually come in from south to north because it's it's just handy that way that I've rolled out now. There's the fire, so I'll come in over that high ridge there and drop in on it. Now I have the HUD selected. Uh, you don't need to have the HUD selected on the H145, but uh, I like it. it. Just gives me a bit more situational awareness. He stuttered, yeah. Those houses are all not rendering in properly because the data is offline. Right, I've reconnected online. We're all over it like a seagull on chips. Right, so we're going to roll in. Yeah, those buildings look a little bit better now. They're rendered in. 
Right, so we're going to roll in and make a better drop so across the fire line rather than the short short way which we have been doing. There you go, cut in now, a bit of rudder. Get the nose around there with the pedal. I mean, I don't know how high up I need to drop. I didn't read any of the documentation. I just went, ah, can put out fires and stuff. Cool, let's go. And we will go for a... Uh, Bambi! Hundred and forty six nailed it. Right, that's the way to come in. I mean, could I? I don't think I can take from that. There's not proper water rendering there, it's just like the texture of a pool. If it was, I'd be dipping the Bambi bucket straight in that. See all these people I'm annoying by flying low over the house, they'll thank me when I put it that fire. There's the team in the back, by the way, alright fellas? Say hello. No? Alright. So yeah, we'll put the fire out, hopefully, and we'll... We'll see how long it takes. That's 2.30 on the score so far on three drops, which, I'll be honest, is rubbish. Isn't it? Because I got 15 on one of them, I got 146 on the last one. And 69, dude, on the first one. Right, get ready. Roll back on the throttle, bring the nose up to bring the speed down as we trade altitude and slow down at the same time. I'm going to cut right at the dam, go in and fill up from the lake. Getting that nose round, bring the speed down, let the bucket fall through that little gap there which will be grand. 100 feet, watching the radar altimeter, watching the speed. Slowing it down, I don't know if we'll be taking much. Right, pick her up there. That should be as full. And up we go again. I'm happy with the engines in the yellow, I don't want them to go red. So, again, we'll get speed. I'll fly off. It's a very, very cool aircraft to fly. It looks brilliant as well. In fact, while we're flying this time, let's have a little camera angle around of our wonderful little helicopter. There we go. <laughs> as it shouts at me, it's like, you're doing something wrong! MGB over limit. It must be the bucket that I'm going over limit. Maybe that's what that... That little red and white thing is there. Don't fly over that speed with the bucket. Let's see when we go below that speed now. Uh, no, nothing changed. Right, so we'll steady her out and then we'll fly. And I'll fly a little bit slower this time, get more of the water in the fire. And I want to line it up and drop it in. Oh, that is over there. It's a very cool part of the world. I wouldn't mind living in California. It's awesome. You got the hills, you got the beach, you got Hollywood. Be cool. Right, so, roll back in uh, with our bucket. Don't want to be too fast, so lower the collective, bring the nose up just to slow down a little bit. I'll go for water here. Of course, my controls went. For there we go, we did it! We did it, it's got a tick to 414 total. So we got 185 that time, it was our best drop. But it looks to me like that's still... still burning, but we've got a little tick to say we've did it. I think we should do one more. They're still there. That's still burning. No, we're not going to do half a job, no, we're going to do the full thing. 
I know we've got a tick, but I can still see flames and it's part of the fire triangle, you know what I mean? Still still heat there, there's still oxygen, still fuel, so let's take that away by putting more water on. Break the triangle. Destroy the conflagration. Okay, so over the top of the that's a nice looking house, what's this? Remember the pool? Pretty cool. Right, over the top we go. Dive on in. Make sure we keep a reference so we don't dip into the uh, reservoir or the lake. I mean, as cool as this would be to do in real life, it'd be terrifying at the same time. Right, 130. 100. Let's start slowing down. Buck it in. Up we go again. This is our last trip. All over it. I mean, the guys on the ground now beating the fire with all the their equipment. They don't, get their fire. They, don't, they don't have a fire engine up there. It's too far up in the hills. Bing! Yeah, that's that's the sim saying, Pascal, what are you doing? You don't know how to fly this. Alright, it's not broken yet. Jeez! Right, coming back. One last little one. And then RTP. See, look, that's got bigger, isn't it? It says it's ticked. It says there it's done, but that is bigger. Because I didn't get it all out, even though I'd done enough. I'm not convinced that didn't grow. Good job, I'm conscientious, isn't it? Job's worth doing, it's worth doing well. If it's not worth doing, give it to Pascal. Right, rolling in. Again, this is still just, it's relaxing flying now, you know, it's, it's fun, but a bit quick. <laughs> it's, it's relaxing, it's fun, right? let's slow down a little bit. Line her up, the nose of the aircraft. Four hundred and eighty-five. Still there, but it's smaller. I wonder if I just hovered above it and dropped it. I mean, how does it does it keep growing? Or, I mean, I know the tech says I've done it, but does does the fire keep growing if you leave it unchecked? Like if you leave any of that. So there's two little tiny bits. So let's see. The time we get to our little lake and back, is that going to be any any bigger? <laughs> this helicopter is not a fan of my flying style. <laughs> I'm just saying that now. I'm a fan of it though, it's very smooth. Like if you come from something like the Huey and DCS or whatever to, to fly this, this is smooth going. So many systems that keep this, or keep you from bending it spectacularly. I wonder at Beverly Hills, we could do a bit of shopping. But I'll only be able to do that if people subscribe. And then I can make a living off YouTube and not have to go and do my stupid job. I'm only kidding. I enjoy my job. Enjoy doing this more though. 100 feet power on a little bit as the speed comes off entirely. Radar out 5th, 40, 30. Dip, dip, dip. Let's go down to 20. There we go. That'll be it. Bucket in. Up we go. I like that little green warning. Do not dip the nose down beyond that, otherwise you'll be in an unrecoverable <laughs> nose down attitude. But yes, I know. I got a bit faster this time when we come up and over. 100 feet. 100 feet. 
Look like a castle down there. You pretending you get castles in America. Apart from medieval times. Bong. Are there still only two? Maybe I've cracked the code. Right, come through this little gap again. Start to get the nose round. Bank on in, let the bucket's inertia carry me round as well. Right, slow down a bit. Line her up a bit proper. <laughs> Drop away. Right, I don't think it goes out. <laughs> so we're going to go back to base. But we're going to go the interesting fast way. We're going to follow the road down. Why wouldn't we showboat at the end? I mean, I know the bucket's there. I don't know if I break the aircraft by hitting the bucket off the ground, so... 100 feet, 100 feet. Just follow the road back in a little bit. So yeah, this is, like I said at the start, this is H145 um, from Hack Performance Group. The website link will be in the description below. Um, as will be the link to Patreon if you want to come support, keep the channel, keep me in coffee. This is a bit of a bad texture, Microsoft and a Sobo. Don't like that. Oh, and here. <laughs> Maybe we shouldn't have gone past that. Shh, you're ruining the, you're ruining the magic. Look. There we go. Uh, right. <laughs> what is good, though, is the weather uh, system. Because, obviously, California at the minute. Oh, my aircraft didn't like that. Um, California at the minute will be having a, a lot of problems. Like I said earlier, good luck if you are there and you, you are facing the wildfires. Because uh, I can't imagine it's a nice situation to be in. Airfield off to the left. Not interested in landing there. I'm going back to where I started. So if you do want to come along and uh, support the channel, of course, hit the like and subscribe button. Share. Ask me questions about flight sim and anything you want to know, really. Ask questions about me, the channel. I don't know. I'm just enjoying flying at the minute. It's, it's relaxing. It's fun. And that's the important thing. You're going to be having fun when you're doing something. If you're not having fun, then why do it? You know, and this is a lot of fun. More fun than my job, so yeah, subscribe. And I can come and live in California. And then be scared of wildfires and great white sharks, you know. Windows. Hi, everybody. Yeah, Flight Sim is very, very fun for doing all this. And of course, I mean, just looking out all that way, you'd fly through all that if you're if you're flying general aviation and stuff. It's it's quite cool. Right, we're coming up on our runway, or our airfield rather, not our runway. Just looking ahead for the tower. It's across this road. Factories on the right there. Not so many cars here. Like a factory or a big shopping mall I've just passed over. It's a lot of cars. Right, so again, over the road, and then we start looking ahead for the tower. We can start to come down on the power. We know we're coming down the power because the rotor blades start biting into there more. MGB high temp. MGB chip. MGB over limit. Pass the oil. Main gearbox, low pressure. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh no. Oh no. <laughs> so apparently I need to learn what those alerts mean so that doesn't happen again. Thank you very much for watching. Until next time, Tactical Pascal, <laughs> out.